Uh, what well, we have Ramia Bodemi on the show, Gentech Gen Nigeria Boxing Board of Control. We'd we'll like to have his view on uh, if uh, Jaguars victory. Good morning, Remy. Uh, good morning. Yeah, good to have you live on the show. Thank you. All right, let's talk about uh, if we are Jagba and his victory over Rajan Kujano uh, over the weekend. Well, uh, I don't expect anything less from uh, Jagba uh, based on the caliber of uh, management is under, on, on, under. I mean, he is actually with Shelly Finko. Uh, Shelly Finko is someone that presently manages uh, uh, the, the main man who unfortunately lost to uh, uh, Tyson Fury. I'm talking about Tony Wilder. So, uh, Tony Wilder is in the same place with Ajaba. Ajaba is being groomed to take over from Tony Wilder. Unfortunately, Dante lost at the time they are not they, they weren't expecting him to lose. So Adaba beating uh, Razan Kajiwa Kwadani is part of the process in making him to at least test those are uh, uh, in the real uh, position as for the heavyweight category. Uh, this uh, Razan that we are talking about has actually fought two good names in the heavyweight category. He's fought against Luis Otis and he's also fought against uh, Joseph Parker. And those are names that you know is actually in the realms of the heavyweight uh, categories, as in the main ones in the heavyweight category. So, Adaba beating him is actually a plus for Adaba, and it shows that he is set and is ready to, I mean, mix it up with those in the heavyweight category. Now, uh, still talking about uh, F.A. Adaba, do you someday see him um, fighting with the great boxers like Tyson Fury and uh, probably um, Anthony Joshua? Well, fighting with Joshua would be it will be in, in another kind of a, a way because you see, everything will have to be put into place when he needs, if, if there's any need for him to fight uh, Anthony Joshua. I mean, we have to look at the Nigerian factor and then uh, the monetary aspect of it. But apart away from that, he is actually number 20, 23 in the world right now, whilst uh, Anthony Joshua is number one. So, uh, the, 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 the gap is so much that he would not be able to mix it up with Anthony for now. Except he wants to uh, end his career that early, that, 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 that. Uh, For whatever he is right now, he is not in the caliber of the boxer to look and face Anthony Joshua one-on-one -on -one in the ring. Mm. That is the truth. But he is being groomed, and it's a, it's a gradual process. Look at it. He just turned pro in 2017, just two years. I'm positive he has not even fought any 12 rounder. The best is 40 is 10 rounds. So the gradual process. Yes, he would definitely get to the time, to the state of challenging if there's any need for it. Uh, uh, that's Anthony Joshua. But definitely that is not going to be in the horizon right now. Because the management of Ajaba still has their aid in Dante Wada. And definitely. They would still want a fight between Dante and and, 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 and Anthony Joshua, which would be big money earner. But presently, Adaba is already being groomed to come into the uh, first five or first two, three uh, caliber in the world ratings. All right, uh, let's wrap up with this last question now. A lot of talk has been going on about Ife Adaba dumping Nigeria for the United States of America. We would like you to clear the air. Is he still a Nigerian boxer or has he jumped ship? Well, so definitely, Adaba is a Nigerian boxer. He is fighting under the umbrella of Nigeria. Yes, there are two types of boxing the amateur and the professional. Adaba has represented Nigeria at the amateur level where they win medals. But right now, he is fighting as a professional where he collects pay, he collects his money for every fight he embarks uh, on. But that notwithstanding, whenever he goes into the ring, you will hear the announcer says, Ajada of Nigeria, all the way from Nigeria, representing Nigeria. So he is still a Nigerian, boxing as a Nigerian, but he's not fighting to win medals for Nigeria, but rather fighting to make money and feed his family. That is why he's in the professional rank. That's the, the whole truth. Ajada is fighting as a Nigerian, and he's, he hasn't jumped cheap at all. All right. Thank you very much, Remy Abodering, for talking to us this morning. Thank you very much. I'm honored.
Right, that's at the Gensec Nigeria Boxing Board of Control. He has cleared the air. A lot of talk has been going on about if a Jaguar jumping ship and representing US, not Nigeria. But he has cleared the air. He's still a Nigerian boxer. He's just a professional who goes out there to fight to earn money.